This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the mole concept. The mole, which is given the symbol N, is a unit of measurement used to measure the amount of a substance. A mole of a substance has the same number of particles as there are in 12 grams of the isotope carbon 12. On this mass balance, we have exactly 12 grams of carbon 12, which is equal to one mole. The number of particles in a mole is equal to the Avogadro constant, which is 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. One mole of any substance contains this number of particles. So to summarize, 12 grams of the isotope carbon 12 is equal to one mole, which is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 particles. Next, we look at some examples using the mole concept. In one mole of chlorine gas, which is Cl2, there are 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 chlorine molecules. Chlorine gas exists as a diatomic molecule with two atoms of chlorine bonded by a single covalent bond. Therefore, in one mole of chlorine gas, there are two times the Avogadro constant number of chlorine atoms. This gives us 1.20 times 10 to the power of 24 chlorine atoms in one mole of chlorine gas. Let's look at another example. In one mole of water, which is H2O, there are 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 water molecules. A water molecule consists of two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. Therefore, one mole of water has 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 oxygen atoms. To find the number of hydrogen atoms in one mole of water, we multiply the Avogadro constant by 2. This is because a molecule of water consists of two hydrogen atoms. And this gives us 1.20 times 10 to the power of 24 hydrogen atoms in one mole of water. Let's look at another example. In one mole of ethanol, which is C2H5OH, there are 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 ethanol molecules. Therefore, one mole of ethanol has two times the Avogadro constant of carbon atoms. This is because a molecule of ethanol consists of two carbon atoms, which gives us 1.20 times 10 to the power of 24 carbon atoms. If we want to know the number of hydrogen atoms in one mole of ethanol, we multiply the Avogadro constant by 6. This is because one molecule of ethanol consists of 6 hydrogen atoms, which gives us 3.61 times 10 to the power of 24 hydrogen atoms in one mole of ethanol. In our last example, we look at an ionic compound. In one mole of sodium chloride, which is NaCl, there are 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 sodium chloride formula units. Sodium chloride is an ionic compound, therefore it does not form molecules. Here we can see the lattice structure of sodium chloride, which is composed of positive sodium ions and negative chloride ions. Therefore, one mole of sodium chloride has 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 sodium ions and 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 chloride ions. So the total number of ions in one mole of sodium chloride is 1.20 times 10 to the power of 24.